and I decided that was a good time to pack to go up north so yeah let's get to it okay guys so before we get into today's packing video subscribe to my channel hit the little bell button so you get notified when I upload and like this video also check out my social media in the description box below so the reason why I'm packing a week before going is because I'm off tomorrow and then I work the next six days so I literally only have the two days off before I leave so just to have everything done and out of the way I'm doing everything I need to do before I go in these two days so yesterday and today so that tomorrow I have nothing I really need to do and I can just relax so I hope you enjoy today's video so the first bag I'm packing is kind of my bathroom bag, I guess you would call it. Um, some items that I'm going to show you quickly that I'm not packing right away are these three. So these are my eyelid wipes to kind of get the dirt from ATVing out of my eyes. My face sponge, even if I'm just like using water or my molecular water, whatever you call it just to like really get the dart in my face and my um l'oreal extraordinary oil for my hair okay now that we kind of got that out of the way let's start packing so this little bag has a travel deodorant sunscreen and bug spray in it and i'm also going to throw in my rose hit this kind of helps my dry skin so even though I am going up north, it's kind of an essential I need. Um, already in here, because I never travel without it, is my first aid kit. This is kind of just my um, shower bag. It's just got like shampoo, conditioner, band-aids, razor, that kind of stuff in it. And the top is um, face wipes and um, alcohol wipes. So then I also have a bigger pack of wipes, just in case. My um, cotton pads. Oh, I don't know if this is going to fit or not. I'm going to put my L'Oreal water in there now, even though... It is a week before we go camping just because I have a smaller one I can use. So the big one can go and be packed and I know it's done. Um, Polysporin itch relief. It can go in there. Oh, this also won't be packed right away. It's my um, acne treatment thing. This keeps bugs away. B12. Advil. Benadryl, Night All, because you never know, Carnal, Hearing Aid Pack, or um, container I keep my hearing aid in when I travel. Okay. Towels, because there is a shower. So, hooray for that. So, I pack two showers one for my hair, one for my body, and a face. This cloth. And then we have sheets. So I have the flat sheet, or yeah, the flat sheet and the fitted sheet. And then my flip flops, which I need to pull out. they are. We'll go in with my first aid kit normally anyways. Alright, that's bag one. I'll see you guys 
soon for bag two. Okay, um, even though I'm not actually packing this particular bag today, this will probably be done Thursday, Friday maybe, is my traveling purse. So this used to be my high school um, school bag. I had a couple of different versions of them, but this was my grade 12 slash end of 11 bag. So I've had it a while, and it, but it's great because it's really big and it holds a whole lot of stuff. So these are some of my treats that I go up with. So I, I don't eat the whole box on the way up and back, but I have some on the way to and from. One of these will be for going up and the other one will be for coming back. So there'll be those options. And then I also will have um, Mars bars for their back as well. And also my book, which if you've watched my last Charisse's book of the month, you know is Demi Moore's Inside Out. Also my phone, my charger, my iPad, its charger, my headphones, my battery pack, all my like electronical things will also be in here. So yeah, I might quickly run through that when I do the whole trip, but that's just kind of a brief description of what goes in this bag. Also, this has like nothing to do with like my packing, but these little bags of chips are just great because I eat them in one sitting. I know they're not coming home with me and I have a couple different options. It's great. Okay, so if you know me, you know I am a huge overpacker. I never know what I want to wear and I like to have options. So therefore, I pack way more than I need to. So I bought these. So I hope that these help me packing. Let's find out, shall we? So I think this small bag or maybe this bigger bag, one of these two bags is going to be for the items I showed you that I wasn't packing yet. They'll go in one of these and into probably my bigger suitcase for my clothes just because the other one's pretty full already and yeah, that way I don't have to like repack it. So that's what these are going to be for. Then we have a bigger pouch, which I may not even need for this particular trip. But who knows, when we go to LA, that'll be great. This will be for my bra, or my underwear and socks. I probably won't put my bras in any of these just because I don't wanna break them. Then we've got t-shirts and then pants and hoodies. Let's see what happens. Okay, so I'm packing my pants. And something I've learned that I'm going to pass along is if you take like the folds, like the seam at the top of your pants, so you want it up, and you put the next pair down so that this, this is going the other way, it makes the pile smaller. So I just thought I'd pass that along. Okay, so for me, this pants and sweater one is just pants. Um, yeah. I guess the hoodies I'll just like throw on top of the packs and I hope I'll be okay. Okay, so my little one is done. I have my underwear, socks, a couple of my bandos, one I'll travel in and then I'll have to fit one more in here somehow. And my two bathing suits and my cover up are all in this little handy one. Okay. <sighs> one to the next. Okay, guys, as you can see behind me, I literally pulled out my t shirt drawer to go through it to find out, to figure out what I wanted to take. Okay, and finally, I have my shirts. So each one of them is kind of a little overpacked but you know what I'm okay with that They're all condensed into smaller packages than they probably would have been otherwise my only real concern 
is that this pant one is going to be too wide for my suitcase. t-shirt maybe on top and then this one kind of like sideways there yeah, we're good we can still fit a couple sweaters in here wow i am doing so well i also have my travel outfit so I have my bandeau, pair of leggings, Tana Mojo's um, newest Dizzy, mer Dizzy merch, and summertime tank. So if it's cold on the track, I have a sweater, leggings because they're comfortable, tank top under the sweater so I have layers. Yeah, so that's that. Let me just add my sweaters. My slippers will also go in this bag, um, but not yet, obviously. Yeah, okay. Okay, for my hoodies, I pulled down a few options just because this is the first time in four years we've gone the first week of August. We've always gone the last week of August, my birthday week. So I have no idea what the weather's gonna be like up there this year. So, I have two different crop hoodies. I have my queen um, kind of sweater. It's, re it's really thin. Um, my black killing it sweater. My big long whatever sweater. And my all-time favorite sweater that my nanny and papa actually got for me, Ocean City. I have no idea which one I'm going to do. So I guess I'm going to debate this for a little while and I'll come back. Okay, so I decided that my queen sweater, because it's thin but long sleeve, is a must. And the two crops um, are a must. So now it just comes down to these other three sweaters, which... I think I'm gonna leave this orange one behind, even though it is my favorite. It's also the most worn, and I don't want to ruin it completely. So I think we're gonna leave that one at home, and maybe pack both of these two because I do like riding on the ATV in this. These two, a because this one's long, so it keeps the wind from going up my back if it happens to be a windy day, and then this one because it's black, it's kind of a little easier to hide the dust a little. So I think those two sweaters are the ones I'm going with. Alrighty, that is, oh, also these two. Um, okay guys, I am thought I was fully packed and I just realized I completely forgot pajamas. So I have two options. I have a, top and short set that are kind of like warm and fuzzy although it's a little thin but it is warm and pants and a tank top okay i am absolutely fully done packing now um there's one pair of shorts i want to add to the pant pile but they're not clean right now so i have to do the laundry and get them clean and then put them in and then add my toothbrush, hairbrush, all the things I can't pack yet. And I will be all set. So I hope you guys liked this video. Subscribe to my channel, hit the little like button and hit the little bell button so you get notified when I upload. I love you all. Good night guys.